from flying geckos to two-headed skinks and a lizard that shoots blood from its eyes. These animals all have strange but brilliant ways of surviving. Lizards sometimes appear to be artifacts from another world, but many are more dynamic than we may think. In this video, we look at some reptiles that have evolved significantly strange features. The Short-Horned Lizard The short-horned lizard is often referred to as a horned toad because its squat, flattened shape and short, blunt snout give it a toadish look. The color varies depending on the animal's surroundings, since their color provides them with camouflage. There are over 10 different horned lizard species, and they're usually found in deserts and semi-arid environments of North and Central America. Despite their spiky features, there are a ton of predators that hunt the short-horned lizards. These include hawks, snakes, wolves, and coyotes. There are a lot of dangers in the world for these small guys. Besides their natural camouflage, they have adapted a pair of remarkable talents to survive. When a predator gets too close, the lizards can inflate their bodies up to twice their size, resembling a spiny balloon. This will intimidate some animals, but if it's insufficient, the species employ one of the animal kingdom's most bizarre defensive mechanisms. They shoot blood from their eyes. The squirting blood comes from ducts in the corners of their eyes and can travel up to three feet. Scientists argue that the concentrated blood, not mixed with other things, is off-putting and confusing for predators, and consequently, they leave the lizards alone. That's indeed a strange feature! The Flying Gecko This species doesn't actually fly, but glides through the treetops thanks to skin flaps on their body, limbs, and webbed toes. Flying geckos are found in tropical forests throughout Southeast Asia. After spending their days clinging to tree trunks and sleeping, these nocturnal lizards emerge at nightfall to hunt insects, spiders, and small vertebrates. Generally, they're covered in splotches of brown, black, and tan. The coloration is sporadic, giving it a natural appearance. From far away, these lizards look like a piece of tree bark. They use their appearance to their advantage and blend in with trees in the wild. Their natural camouflage helps them hide from predators such as birds, but if they are still found, the lizards can defend themselves by running or gliding away from predators. The Shingleback Skink The Shingleback Skink, also known as a bobtail lizard, is a short-tailed, slow-moving species of blue-tongued skink endemic to Australia. The tongue is blue, and the skin is dark brown all over, with or without yellow spots. What makes this lizard special is its armored body and short, wide tail that looks like its head. The shingleback skink may not look like it knows if it's coming or going, but having a similar looking head and tail is a mighty helpful defense mechanism. In the bush, the major predators of shinglebacks are falcons, large snakes, and feral cats and dogs. They often go for the head because that's how they disable prey. Luckily, the predators can't tell the difference from a shingleback's head and tail due to the similarity. It's a lot better to have your tail bitten off rather than your head. That's hard to argue against. The tail isn't just a confusing feature, but it serves as a fat reserve, which the lizard uses when it bromates during wintertime. It's sure to say that this lizard has some smart, but strange features to survive. Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko If you can't look completely like a leaf, at least you can look like the devil. And this little lizard possesses the best of both worlds. It's a small species of gecko that can be found only on the island of Madagascar. The gecko occurs in a variety of colors, including purple, orange, tan, and yellow, but is often mottled brown with small black dots on the underside. It has long spines on the head, body, and trunk. The tail is flattened and has a leaf-like appearance. Can you even tell the difference? Looking like a leaf has many benefits. First, it helps the gecko hunt for prey by providing camouflage. Since it's known to eat anything, it just sits and waits for crickets, flies, spiders, cockroaches, or snails to pass by. 
Of course, the camouflage also makes them hide from predators such as birds, snakes, and rats. They can mimic dead leaves or tree bark, which is a very successful way to bluff predators that rely on their vision, especially birds. However, if a predator finds them, they will suddenly widely open their mouths, emit loud cries, show the reddish tongue, and try to bite. This looks quite scary, and is perhaps why they are called satanic. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe for more content in the future.